Good evening and welcome to Compline on this Wednesday evening. Let's just take a short moment to gather our thoughts and our mind after a day. Calm me, O Lord, as you still the storm. Still me, O Lord, keep me from harm. Let all the tumult within me cease. Enfold me, Lord, in your peace. Father, bless the work that is done and the work that is to be. Father, bless the servant that I am and the servant that I will be. Thou, Lord and God of power, shield and sustain me this night. I will lie down this night with God and God will lie down with me. I will lie down this night with Christ and Christ will lie down with me. I will lie down this night with the Spirit, and the Spirit will lie down with me. God and Christ and the Spirit lying down with me. Tonight, as we look at Luke 10, we're looking at a pause for thought. Martha was preoccupied with her many tasks, so she came to him and asked, Lord, doesn't it matter to you that my sister has left me to do all the work by, by myself? Tell her to lend me a hand. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are fretting and distracted by many things. Only one thing is really important. Mary has chosen that more important thing and it will not be taken away from her. To ponder. We live today at breakneck speed, rushing here, there and everywhere, yet forever chasing our tails. Despite having labour-saving gadgets such as, such as our grandparents could only have dreamed of, we are part of a society ravaged by exhaustion and burnout as we attempt to cram yet more activity into our already overcrowded lives. The material world Ward. Let me say that again. The material rewards are many, yet spiritually, most of us are hopefully, hopelessly <laughs> impoverished. We need sometimes to pause and ask ourselves, where we are going and why. We need to consider the deeper things of life and to reflect on what actually matters. Unless we pause to think now, we may reach the end of our days only to discover that we have frittered our lives away on much that is ultimately empty and meaningless. Ask yourself, do you succeed in making time for quiet reflection or are such moments crowded out by the demands and concerns of daily life? Let's pray. Loving God, we live at such a hectic pace, our lives so busy and pressurised, with never a moment to spare, yet so often we forget the only thing we really need time to pause. <laughs> Let me say that again, yet often we forget the one thing we really need, time to pause and ponder to take stock of our lives and reflect on your goodness so that we might understand what it is that you would say to us. Draw near to me now in these few moments of quietness. Teach me to be still and to know your, that your presence is here, that you are with me. Through Jesus Christ my Lord. Amen. Forgive me if words in the right order don't seem to be my thing today. The peace of God be over me to shelter me, under me to uphold me, about me to protect me, behind me to direct me, ever with me to save me. The peace of all peace be mine this night, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you again for being with me and Ted and the three green cushions this evening.
please continue to pray for yourself and look after yourself to pray for others and look after them and to pray for our world good night and god bless you